Hey, bookworms. Uh, so today I've decided to film, even though it's not a particularly good day for me. I'm feeling really unmotivated. Kind of like I want to give up on, a, on some things. Um, because yesterday I got some bad news and without being too specific, uh, if you want to know more, it's on my membership, um, tears at buymeacoffee.com. Um, I got into more, a bit more detail about it there, but basically I, I got knew the outcome yesterday for something that I'd been working on that I hadn't kind of hoped for. And I was really, really invested in this outcome. So it really came as a blow because I, I had my hopes up. I had my hopes up big time about this scenario and it hasn't panned out. So this is the day after that. And I'm feeling really deflated and it's kind of hopeless. Like I'm trying to keep perspective, like in, in the scheme of things, you know, life's still great. I'm still, you know, I still have my dream job. My family's healthy. I still have a roof over my head. <laughs> um, you know, so in the scheme of things, keeping perspective, you know, like <laughs> it's not that bad. And I'm trying to keep rewriting myself for that, but it doesn't, there's still that feeling of like, just disappointment, just massive disappointment. So yeah, in, in the spirit of keeping this, this um, channel authentic and being authentic for you guys in my vlogs, um, I'm having a day. This is the day that I'm having and I'm not motivated. I'm not motivated to study. I'm not motivated to exercise. I'm feeling a bit like, uh, what is the point? What is this all about? Like, I'm not really even motivated to film, but that's kind of, I'm pushing through that because I think it's important, especially on social media, to show that real life isn't always a highlight reel. Real life is sometimes, you know, sometimes your life is shit and sometimes you do get dealt blows and, and that's real. Like, and sometimes you, you haven't brushed your hair this morning and, you know, you're not always aesthetic and you're not always happy and bubbly. And I think that's important. And you'll notice if you've ever read the descriptions of, of any of my videos that I always put the bits that didn't make the cut in the vlogs that kind of aren't aesthetic and that aren't, you know, the curated parts of a video that that influencers and vloggers and stuff always show in their videos because, you know, looking at social media can be really disheartening because it really, if you're, if you're at all comparative, and I think we all are really, um, sometimes you think, oh my gosh, why isn't my life that good? And why, is, <laughs> why am I not happy all the time? And, you know, why don't those amazing things always happen to me? And the truth is they don't happen to anyone. <laughs> like no one's, no one's life is like that all the time. No one's life is insta perfect all the time. And so I think that's the reason why I found it so important to film today because, you know, I never want to give the impression that I'm trying to hold my, my life up as like something to be aspired to or <laughs> better than anybody else's. Cause you know, it's just a life. It just, it is what it is. It's like anybody else's, you know, um, sometimes I parent badly and sometimes I eat badly and so you know, like, just like anybody else, right? Like, yeah. So that's the point of the vlog today is just, let's just deal with a disappointment 
deal with a bit of a mental blow and deal with a real, um, I've had a real, like, it, I feel like my confidence has really been knocked by this. Um, so today is just going to be about dealing with that and just getting on with the day and getting on with life <laughs> and, you know, having you guys to keep me company is just the nicest way to deal with that, honestly. <laughs> Knowing that there's people that, that take time out of their day to to watch and to comment and take an interest in this, like this little bit of art that I'm putting out into the world and this little bit of stuff that I create is just amazing. Like I never take that for granted. I'm just, every time my subscription numbers go up, I just go, really? There's more of you? like yeah it's just it's just the happiest moment <laughs> ah, so with that in mind let's just get on with today and do the best we can right because that's all you can do all you can do is the best you can do like you just do the best you can move forward see how it goes <laughs> first coffee of course Gosh, bookers. I bought this um, it's from Woolies. It's a sourdough loaf with garlic and olive oil. Oh, it smells amazing. We had it last night with soup and I can oh, just smell it sitting here on the bench and it's, it's delicious. Isn't bread amazing? Bread is like so underrated. Yep, I'm gonna still exercise. I don't know why. I don't feel like it's having any effect. <laughs> ah, in the mood I'm in today. I have no motivation to do this. I hate exercise, I hate it so much. <sighs> but I always feel better after it's done. So I'm gonna do it anyway. You can time me. I'm going to try and plank for a minute because apparently that's good. Yeah. Bluebell's going to monitor my um, form. It's nice of her. Oh, you can hear the cars outside. Sorry about that. I got the door open. All right, here we go. Thank you. <laughs> While I was planking, I could see underneath the stairs. Look at this big ball of like 
dog fur and dust I found. <laughs> I hate this so much. Should I also point out I fully recognize and check my privilege here about having a whinge, about having an able body that can do exercise. Like, I do get that. I fully get that. I realize there are people who don't have the use of their legs or don't have legs who would love to be able to do three sets of 12 lunges on each side. I do get that. Please don't think that I don't recognize my privilege here while I'm having a big whinge. Now I'm about to go for a run for my stupid mental health. <laughs> <laughs> At least two hours more before we do it. Oh. <laughs> All right, let's go. Stairs. So I just had this really good, oh, my face is still red from running. <laughs> really red face. Oh, the joys. <laughs> um, so I just had this really good idea while I was in the shower. Um, so I'm trying to lift my mood today from feeling like dejected and deflated to sort of re-motivating myself. And I am not in a frame of mind to do uni work. I'm feeling really disheartened about uni. So I know there's no point doing that because I'm just going to get frustrated and anxious. And it feels really pointless today because of um, what happened yesterday. So instead, <laughs> um, how about we go to this local op shop uh, thrift store if you're not from Australia we call them op shops I don't know if uh, any other countries call them op shops but it's a thrift shop um, how about we go to the local thrift shop and have a look around that always always makes me feel better <laughs> um, and then I might get my laptop and go and do some vlog editing in a nice coffee shop that's sort of on the way back from there how about we do that? All right, worms, here we are at Vinnie's. Let's go and have some retail therapy.
was going up to the counter, um, one of the ladies working here said, um, maybe just try that shirt on because it used to be mine and I think the sizing's wrong. So that was really nice. So I'm just gonna try it on. Okay, do you want a haul, bookworms? Let's do a haul. You know I bought books. You know I did. I obviously. I mean, have we met? You know, you know I bought books. So <laughs> of course I found I bought some in the three for a dollar pile. Um, which was uh ooh, I just dropped it down the steering wheel. <laughs> Professional vlogger. So I bought Gone Girl by Gillian Flynn or Gillian Flynn, not sure. Um, heard this is great, haven't read it. I also bought The Season by Charlotte Bingham. And, um, you know, what's not to love? The London High Season. Gonna love that. And I also bought Kimberly Sun by Di Morrissey, which I haven't read before, but I really like Di Morrissey. And I read the blurb and it sounds great. So I've got that one. I also found Au Revoir by Mary Moody, which um, is about a woman from the Blue Mountains who moves to southwest of France. And I think it's a series, and I think this is the first one, and I haven't read them. So I'm going to read that. And I also bought another Maeve Binchy called Whitethorn Woods. Um, it's a nice hardcover, and you know, love a Maeve Binchy, always have. Um, this one was $4, but totally worth it because it's in really good condition. It's got a little tiny bit of yellowing on the edge there, but it's still got its dust jacket on. It's, I mean, it's not even marked really. It's in really good condition, so that's worth it. And I also found this one for my daughter, and it's called the Secrets of Drearcliff Dre Grange School. And it sounds amazing. So I bought that actually for big one because I thought that's kind of her bag, um, I think, but I'd like to read that too. So win-win, right? Also, I tried on that shirt that the lady who was working at the shop said she had donated um, and she thinks it was missized. And I think she might be right because it was a bit small the, like that I thought it would be, but it's really nice. It's like a, a blue um, check shirt and it's like, you can just feel it's really good quality. So I was really happy with that. And I also found this um, Kathmandu, just like a really lightweight cotton shirt, again in light blue and just feels really nice and soft and I think that'll be really nice as well. So that was my haul from Vinnie's. I think I spent a total of $22, <laughs> which, you know, that's that's pretty exy for Vinnie's. <laughs> but um, I did have a nice time perusing there and I found some really unusual things. Oh my gosh, I was so tempted by that sort of vintage looking mix master. Oh, so tempted by that. I don't need another appliance in my kitchen, but it was really, really cute. And I nearly succumbed, but I restrained myself. I'm here, I'm actually parked out the front of the coffee shop now. So I'm gonna go into the coffee shop, grab a coffee and do some editing um, and just hang out. And Aldi's just over that way so I can grab groceries before I go home and then the big one and the little one will be home after that so I've got it's about one o'clock so I've got still got two hours to myself and there were some Japanese people in that cafe and they were really chatty and nice but I was too shy to speak to them in Japanese <laughs> such an idiot oh I just get too shy I feel like I'm gonna make an absolute you know full of myself and I'm gonna say something really stupid or just be no my worst fear actually is that I'll just clam up 
and not be able to remember anything and not be able to say anything. That's my worst fear, actually. It's not saying something dumb. It's saying nothing and just like staring like a deer in the headlights like. That's my worst fear of speaking to Japanese people. And like when I go back home and like replay it in my head, I can have a perfect conversation with someone, but I just have zero confidence to actually do it because I have this fear of being completely tongue tied in the moment. And I, I'm not really sure how to get over that. I think if I was living in Japan and had to use my Japanese day to day, I'd probably just have to get over it. Do you know what I mean? I don't want them to overestimate how well I can speak it as well because I'm not very good. I know I'm not very, not very skilled. So, um, yeah, I mean, I really, I really wanted to, you know, say, oh, kohi ho, oishi desu ne. Like, the coffee's delicious, isn't it? Like, but I am way too shy. <laughs> oh. Anyway, hopefully I'll get over that one of these days. Right, I've got to go to Aldi and get some groceries and then the girls will be home pretty soon. So I'm going to end this vlog here. I am starting to feel a bit better about yesterday. I think I've distracted myself enough. And having knowing that you guys were watching this really helped because it kind of gave me a bit of perspective as well. So even though I'm still really disappointed about the situation. I mean, in the scheme of things, it doesn't really make much difference to my situation. I'm still going to keep doing what I'm doing and I'll just think of something else to do. <laughs> so thanks so much for spending the day with me today um, and helping me to make a good day out of a bad one. Don't forget to like and subscribe and tell your bookworm friends about my channel. I really would love your support and I, I really do value every time someone else subscribes to my channel. Honestly, my reaction's like, oh, there's more of you? Really? <laughs> and, and, on, and it just makes my day. It honestly does. I, I get so excited when I see comments and responses to just this little bit of creative art that I make. Um, it really makes me happy. <laughs> thanks so much. If you want to um, support my channel further or tip me as a creator, you can do that over at buymeacoffee.com forward slash very dot casual dot librarian. Uh, I also put other stuff on that vlog over there too. So just other content. Um, sometimes I read good articles and I'll tag them there and often I'll give my members early access to my videos as well. So go and check it out and see what you think. Right, better get these groceries and head home and be ready for the big one, the little one to get home. Um, I hope you've done something kind for yourself today too. And if you're having a bit of a bad day, if you're having a bit of a day, I hope you've at least been able to be kind to yourself and have some grace for yourself and allow yourself to feel those feelings of disappointment. You know, that's normal. That's part of life. But in the bigger picture, if you can step back and get some perspective, there's there's usually other things to be grateful for and other things to love about your life, even if things are going a bit pear-shaped at the moment. I hope you find that too. All right. I shall catch you guys in the next vlog. Mwah!